On June 12, 2025, the Italian Air Force marked a significant milestone in its aviation history by officially inducting the Leonardo M345, designated T-345A, into service at Galatina Air Base in Lecce. The ceremony, held at the 61st Wing, celebrated the operational replacement of the venerable Air Maki MB-3339A, which had served as the backbone of Italy's pilot training program for nearly 45 years. The event, attended by top military officials and Leonardo representatives, featured a poignant flypast with a mixed formation of T-339A and T-345 aircraft, symbolizing the transition to a modernized training syllabus. The T-345A, developed and manufactured by Leonardo at its Venegono Superiore facility in Varese, is a turbofan-powered trainer designed to bridge the gap between basic and advanced pilot training. Powered by a Williams International FJ44 4M34 engine, delivering 3,460 pound-lifts of thrust, the T-345A achieves a cruise speed of approximately 787 km per hour at 20,000 feet, a service ceiling of 12,190 meters, and a range of 1,410 to 1,550 kilometers. With a maximum takeoff weight of 4,500 kilograms, a thrust-to-weight ratio of 0.45, it offers jet-like performance at turboprop level operating costs. Its digital cockpit, equipped with three multifunction LCDs, a head-up display, tandem Martin Baker ejection seats, and HOTAS controls, prepares pilots for 4th, 5th, and 6th generation combat aircraft. The aircraft's 15,000-hour airframe life, pressure refueling, and onboard oxygen generating system reduce ground crew demands and turnaround times, while its health and usage monitoring system enables predictive maintenance within a streamlined two-level maintenance framework. The T-345A serves as the cornerstone for Phase 2, primary pilot training, and Phase 3, basic advanced training, at the 61st wing, complementing the M346 used for Phase 4, lead-in fighter training in Italy's International Flight Training School. The IFTS, a collaboration between Leonardo and the Italian Air Force, trains both Italian and international pilots with the first class of six students, four Italians and two international, set to begin T-345A training in July 2025. The aircraft's embedded tactical training system and ground-based training system create a net-centric training ecosystem, integrating live, virtual, and constructive environments to simulate multi-domain operational scenarios with virtual threats, targets, and simulated sensors. This capability, combined with full mission simulators and mission planning tools, ensures a seamless progression for student pilots. The 214th Squadron operates the T-345A for Phase 2, while Phase 3 training continues to use the T-339CD during the transition, with the MB-339A fleet being phased out, some airframes reserved, and others transferred to Venegono. Beyond its training role, the T-345A's four underwing pylons, capable of carrying over 1,000 kilograms, support infrared guided air-to-air -air missiles, 500-pound bombs, rocket pods, and gun pods, enabling light attack missions. Its avionics suite, including dual mission computers, GPS INS navigation, radar altimeter, IFF transponder, TS and TCAS systems, is compatible with night vision equipment and offers optional upgrades like a stores management system and digital moving map. This dual capability mirrors the M346's fighter attack configuration, enhancing the T-345A's appeal for Air Force's seeking versatile platforms. The MB-339, which the T-345A replaces, was a 1970s evolution of the MB-326, entering service in 1979 with over 230 units produced. It served as a trainer, light attack aircraft, and aerobatic platform for the Frecci Trecolori, seeing combat in the Falklands War and the Eritrean-Ethiopian War. Despite upgrades with digital cockpits and modern munitions, its aging systems necessitated replacement. The T-345A, with 18 units ordered and a potential Italian requirement for up to 45, is poised to modernize Italy's training fleet and potentially equip the Frecce Tricolori, 
though recent indications suggest the team may transition to the M346. The T345A's export potential is a key focus for Leonardo, leveraging its cost-effectiveness, advanced training capabilities, and versatility. Priced competitively, it offers jet performance at turboprop costs, appealing to budget-conscious air forces. Its EMAR-21 certification and integration with the IFTS, which showcases its capabilities to international trainees, enhance its marketability. The aircraft's light attack capabilities, supported by a combat variant developed with South Africa's Paramount Group, target African markets, while a 2015 memorandum with Chile's Enair explores co-production for South America. The United Kingdom's Royal Air Force is evaluating the T-345A as a BAE Hawk replacement, with a test aircraft arriving at Boscombe Down in May 2025. Proposals to France for Alpha Jet replacement in 2015 have not progressed, but interest persists in Europe, Latin America, and Asia Pacific. However, the T-345A faces stiff competition from the Boeing T-7A Red Hawk, KAI T-50 Golden Eagle, Thai Herjet, and Aero Vodochodi L-39NG, all vying for the same trainer market. The L-39NG, using the same FJ-44 engine, directly competes on cost, while the T-7A's U.S. Air Force contract and the T-50's Asian exports set high benchmarks. The British startup Aerolis's modular trainer adds further pressure in Europe. Despite Leonardo's optimistic 2006 forecast of 350 M345 sales by 2030, no firm export orders have materialized, with memoranda in Chile and South Africa yet to yield contracts. Political and economic factors, including geopolitical alignments and budget constraints, pose challenges, as does the perception of Italian defense products in markets favoring U.S. or emerging Turkish platforms. The M346's success in Israel, Poland, and Singapore offers hope, but the T345A needs a marquee order, such as from the RF, to gain momentum. Leonardo's global support network, proven with the SF-260, MB-326, and MB-339, positions the T-345 well for markets like Nigeria, Kenya, or the Philippines, where affordability and multi-role capabilities are valued. The IFTS's expansion to Decimo Manu Air Base in Sardinia could attract further interest by demonstrating the aircraft's training prowess. For nations like Spain or Portugal with aging trainers, the T-345A's cost efficiency and NATO compatibility are compelling. Ultimately, the T-345A's success hinges on Leonardo's ability to secure key contracts, tailor variants for specific markets, and leverage its training ecosystem. As the Italian Air Force embraces this cutting-edge trainer, the T-345A stands ready to shape the future of pilot training worldwide, provided it can navigate a competitive and complex global market.